part. Woo! Episode 5. What's up? What's up and welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about me. Okay, so for today, episode 5, finally, I have the time to teach you guys how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, to start things off, I'll share with you my uh, personal workspace, my personal workspace. I'll be explaining um, a couple of stuff that I'm sure you'll be the first time that you have yung Adobe Premiere Pro. And for today, we'll be focusing more about basic dragging clips on the timeline and cutting, you know, a couple of clips as well. After sharing you the basics of editing, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung personal preferences ko pagdating sa pag-edit. By that I mean yung mga shortcuts, maybe like three shortcuts I use pagdating sa ano, sa pag-edit dito. So, yeah. Let's start. Okay, to start things off, first buksan natin yung Premiere. Boom. Now, pag buksan natin ng Premiere, yeah, what you're going to do best, let's say you're going to edit your new video na shoot mo today. So, go to file press new and then project after that um, let's say we're gonna be editing the sequence um, browse Pag click in browse set in destination of file so apply it to desktop let's say editing tutorial boom and your folder Janatin Lalagay then select folder then you can name the project as it is um, let's say vlog number one press OK so, ito na yung nakakalitong part. At first, most people nakikita tong Premiere as somewhat difficult. Dahil sobrang daming nakalagay. So at first, pag binuksan nyo Adobe Premiere, it's gonna look something like this. Sobrang daming nakalagay. Program, timeline, project, blog one, media browser, libraries, effect controls, audio clip mixer, metadata, source no clips, and this bar right here. So... It's all gonna be messed up. Demo magi gets at first. But what we're gonna do first, follow me step by step. Timeline, nagita nyo, this is where you drag all your clips on to, which is the most important part of your vlogs or of your editing workflow rather. So, kailangan mo to, you should not remove that. And then this tab right here, you see the arrow, cut, razor tool, slip tool, text tool, hand tool, pen tool, you need that this bar right here so on this side is where there is nothing that you know, don't basically need step one is adjusting your workspace it's much easier to edit especially when you're comfortable with your personal workspace so now um, audio clip mixer you don't need that just a quick disclaimer what I'm sharing you at first is in personal workspace go so I'll be removing the stuff that I don't usually use when I edit all my videos. So, audio clip mixer. Um, press that, you know, this little icon here. Boom. Then close panel. Metadata, I don't use that as well. Close that as well. Close panel. Now, it's all good here on this side. Now, on this next part right here, project one, this is where you drag your clips. And by the way, pag Pumunta kayo sa may guhit na to. Yan, yung kita nyo yung guhit na to. Kusan yung, yung mouse. You can stretch that up. Pag lumabas yung icon na, you can stretch it up like that. Now, uh, media browser. I don't actually use that. Some people do. If you prefer, you can. Ito lang yung way para you can access your drive. Let's say, kasi may nakakabit akong SD. Or may nakakabit akong hard drive. So, dun ko i-access yung files kung saan ko nilagay yung mga videos. But I don't usually do this, um, so I'm closing that out. Libraries, close that out as well. Close panel. Info, nope, don't use that as well. Markers, yeah, nope. History, um, rarely, no. Closing that out. Boom. So now we've got project one effects, effect control, source no clips, program sequences, timeline. What you're going to do next is going to um, color. When you click color, here's when the magic comes up. So from the editing tab, kanta yung tura niya, so ni-remove mo na yung mga dapat mong i-remove. And then you go to color. Boom. 
So na adjust na ito na yung personal workspace ko. Um, you can see effects, controls, project blog. Dito yung itong Lumetri color na to. Um, this is where you put the um, color grading or let's say in most common terms, filter. Ito yung paglagay ng filter sa video mo. What I do para ma-maximize tong space ito because dito sa program no sequences, dito nagpi-play yung main vlog mo uh, or yung pinaka footage na in-edit mo. So first, one last adjustment. Um, itong project vlog, I'll drag that over here, katabi nito. So you can see pag pag hinold mo yan, may bluish na lumalabas dun, bluish na box, nagiging bluish yung box. So drag ko yung setup ng Lumetri color. Effects, dadalhin ko din dito sa tabi nila. Effect controls, boom, here. So, oh, so makikita nyo na maximize yung space ng program kung saan nagpiplay yung pinaka video. And then I'll stretch this one out if you can see that here. And there you go. Finally adjusted. So, ito na yung personal workspace ko. Okay, not to start things off, the main part about editing is basically dragging clips. So let's get a sample clip. Let's say I've edited my vlog dito sa natay ng intro na medyo matagal. What about episode 4? No, no, no. Episode 2. Tayo sa episode 2. This is getting quite difficult sometimes. Kasi dyan dyan kasi nuto. Dito tayo sa Gotcha. Okay, so, ito. Episode 2. Now, um, ito yung intro ko. So, what you're gonna do first, ito yung clip. You go to the folder kung nasa yung clip na ipapasok mo sa Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, here's the clip. So, what's gonna happen is that ito nga yung folder mo. Ito yung clips. Now, ito yung intro. Here on the project vlog 1, dito may tatarag yung clip. Boom. Imported file. Now, here's the basic thing to do. So, na-drag mo na yung clip mo dito. You can also um, do multiple clips. Pwede mo i-drag, let's say, ito mga to. Yan, drag mo yan lahat. Lagay mo dito sa Premiere. Drag mo lahat dito. Pwede, you can do that as well. As long as you know how your clips are organized. Um, all these clips, specifically, just to give you a heads up. Pag nag-shoot ako ng vlog, yung edit na ginagawa ko, it's also connected with how I shoot my footage. How much footage do I need? First, I'm going shoot on the intro. After that, five clips and everything. Maybe I'll explain that on a different vlog. For today, ito na na. Drag ko na lahat. Now, here's the intro. What you're gonna do best, drag that here on the timeline. Now, here's when things get real. Step number two. I don't know how many steps do I have, but here it is. Na drag nyo na yung clip. May kita nyo, merong V1, 2, 3. A1, 2, 3. So, ito yung sinasabi sa inyo. You can adjust it like that kung gano'n nyo kung gusto kaliit or kalaki yung video na nabibin nyo. So, gameplay yan dito. Diba? Intro-intro pa eh. Remember when I told you guys? Tip number one, um, pagdating dito sa workflow, it's either, kung nakikita nyo itong tab, itong maliit na switch na to, one half, full, one fourth. It's how Premiere Pro actually works with your computer. Kung mabilis ang computer mo, pwede mo siya i-full. If you're um, on the mid-range like mine, one-half lang ako. Or one-fourth kung gusto ko sobrang bilis kang mag-edit. Um, it has to do something with the quality of the video playback dito sa timeline mo. Pag win fourth mo yan, medyo pixelated mag-play yan. Yan mabilis, diba? Pag finul mo yan, full HD yung play niyan kasama lahat ng effects na nilagay mo. So you have to keep in mind, if you want to edit fast, lower it down. Sa kanya na siya i-view. So now, woo, here goes finally editing the main topic of today, um, basic cutting and dragging. So at first, I'll show you how to drag the dragging clips. Now, um, cutting the clips, it's here's when you know things get kind of twisted. Personally, what I do, or let's say baguhan ka, you go over this clip. So let's say, by the way, press me Alt, just tapat mo dito, boom, medyo talalaki ng ganon Alt then the uh, mouse wheel boom so makikita nyo ito yung video sa ibabaw ito yung audio sa ilalim so makikita nyo yung black spaces na yun yung mga dead air what I want to do with my footage is cut all that dead air 
Now, what I'm gonna do best, let's play it first. You can also press uh, space to play, by the way. So, space. Remember when I told you guys na tuturuan kayong girlfriend ko na mag-vlog? Yun. So, after that, ito na. Pupunta kayo dito ngayon sa tab na to. Which is one of the most important things to do um, pagdating sa pag-edit. So, ngayon, punta kayo dito sa tab na to. Ay, kita nyo, merong selection tool, track, select forward, ripple edit, razor tool, slip tool, pen, hand, type tool. Sa 2019 version, type tool, ito yung paglagay ng text sa blog. So first, dito muna tayo sa pagsimpleng pag-cut. So what you wanna do at first, if you wanna cut out the dead air sa vlog mo, or gusto mo mag-cut, kasi usually mga tao ginagawa, merong nag one take, bilib ako doon sa inyo. Pero pwede naman kasing gawin na maayos na ikat na lang yung mga parts na yun para hindi tumagal yung video nyo. So, punta tayo dito sa razor tool. Boom. Nakikita nyo yung great word na razor tool. Yung nakalagay C. So, you can also press C. Pag pinress mo yung C, kahit di may press yung razor tool, balik ka dito sa hand selection tool. Press mo yung C. Boom. Nakikita nyo nagbaga yung cursor. So, ngayon, cut natin tong dead air. Yan. Kita nyo dito sa gitna na ito, hindi tayo mag-cut. Remember when I told you guys na... Yun, yung na. So, cut natin dito. Cut natin dyan. By the way, pag pinindot nyo dito sa may parang bar na ito. Pag click nyo, hold nyo yan, tapos zoom. Yan, mag-zoom in siya. So, para mas makita nyo yung dead air. And remember yung alt. Sa keyboard nyo, alt. And then, mouse wheel up. Boom. So, press nyo ulit yung C. Then, cut. Dito sa line na yan. Boom. Ayan, nag-cut na. Now, ito yung dead air tatanggalin natin. See again. And then, press on this part. Dito lang sa part na to. Boom. And then, click back. Selection tool. Easy as that. That's how you cut the video. So, itong part na to, ito yung, you know, yung responsible sa pag-play ng clips forward and backward. So, ngayon, gusto mo natanggalin to. Just right-click. Pwede kayo mag-right-click. And... Ripple Delete. Yan. Yun ang una. Ripple Delete. Pero Control Z, babalik yan sa dati, babalik yung dead air dyan. Control Z is um, basically like redoing what you did. So kung nagkamali ka, kung may delete ka, Control Z mo lang dito sa timeline. Now, um, pwede mo rin naman i-press yung delete. Mawala yan. Tapos makikita nyo may blank space dito. So, press nyo yung blank space na yan. Yan, mag-highlight yan. Press nyo rin yung delete. So ngayon, after, you know, yung merong na dead air. Diba? Wala na. See? Now let's press Ctrl Z again. Now this is where my shortcut begins. What I personally do, para hindi naman ko press ng delete, triple delete, it's kind of, uh, medyo nagbababagal sa editing workflow ko. So first, what I do, ito lang naman yung shortcut na customized na ginawa ko para sa workflow ko. Tapos sa uh, edit and then keyboard shortcuts. Boom. So may kita nyo, Premiere Pro default. Yan, zoom tool siya. I don't usually use that tool. So what I'm gonna do, first ko delete. And then, yan may kita nyo, dadrag ko yan dito. Boom. Yan na clear. So, balik tayo dito sa workflow ko. So, yun kasi yun lang naman yung ko. So, ito na. Balik tayo, na, since nagawa ko, na-customize ko na yung delete tool into Z, so malapit na yung kamay ko sa Z button at sa C, yung C which is yung pag-cut, so mas, madilis, mas mabilis na. So, C, C ulit dito sa kabila, boom, and then press V para bumalik ka sa selection tool. So, C, pag-cut, V, balik selection tool. Okay, so, press ko dyan, press Z, boom, delete. Click again, Z. So, bilis. So, three main buttons. Yung C for cutting, V for selection, Z for delete. Yun lang yung workflow ko. Tapos, let's say, itong, itong, itong part na to, gusto mo siya i-select. Kasi ito lang yung gusto mong parts. Kasi nga, dead air na dito, dead air na rin sa kabila. So, Z mo lang yan. Press mo yung Z. Press mo rin yung Z sa kabila. Now, delete again. Press Z. Boom. And boom. So, yan na. I hope na may tutunan kayo dito sa sequence na to. I hope you don't also forget cutting, selection, at yung pag-delete. Shortcut ng pag-delete. 
And I hope meron kayong tutunan sa short video na to. Pagdating sa pag edit And I'll guess I'll see you tomorrow. Once again, ako si Marco Mars. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.